Hey everyone, Jason here back in another video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to rip music from a CD using Windows Media Player. Alright, there are a couple reasons why you want to do this, especially um, if you have a, a large CD collection. The first reason being you want to digitalize your music. Um, it's just good to have. You, you can put things on iPods and, and send things digitally nowadays. Of course, having a vinyl collection and a CD collection are not bad things, but you can also back things up. This is one reason why I kind of want to do this video. Another reason why I want to do this video is if you want to rip music from the CD, in my case, to um, to maybe use digitally, use maybe as um, use it in Windows uh, Movie Maker for a project, or you want, to, like I said, send stuff and whatnot. Um, and so there, there's a couple reasons to do this, um, I think, and it's fairly fairly simple to use to do this using Windows Media Player here. Uh, the first thing you want to do, first and foremost, I'm using a Windows 7 64-bit um, HP laptop computer. I believe this, this model is from 2009, so it's a couple years old. Um, the reason I point that out is because this model I'm using does still have a CD DVD drive. I know a lot of laptops now um, are smaller and uh, in one other touchscreen, and a lot of a lot of computers, a lot of manufacturers have swapped the the uh, CD DVD drive for maybe a touch a touch screen screen and uh, a lot of people don't have the CD DVD, DVD drive you can also buy a removable CD DVD drive online and use it that way if you, especially if you if you intend on doing this a lot but uh, yeah so that's the reason why I point that out I would definitely invest in a CD DVD drive you can watch movies on the computer or whatnot still um, I think it's a good thing to have all right, so the first thing, first and foremost, is you start with this project. You're going to open Windows Media Player, whatever version you may have. For Windows 7, you're just going to hit um, this start icon here. Type in Windows uh, Media Player and, and click on it. It'll pop up. The same things with Windows 8, except from the main screen on the right hand side. But right here, you're going to hit the uh, hit hit the search hit the search button. Especially if you don't have a touch screen. If you have a touch screen, just slide over and uh, you can type it in there and it'll pop up the same way. Um, both the same interfaces here. Um, you can see this is before I had the CD in. You see no disk here. Um, and you can see all my all my locations. Just keep an eye on this pane and have your CD ready. Go ahead and put your CD in. And it's going to give it a minute to insert the disk. Um, like so. And there we go. Almost immediately. There's Excuse me about that. There are only two tracks on this CD, and you can see it popped up here as an unknown album. It's a created album. It burned a local band in the area, so there's no thumbnail um, art, no 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 art at all, no album artwork. There's no really information here that I need to put in now. You can, you can, I believe you can right click if I'm not mistaken and edit. There we go, and you can edit all the information. You can edit the genre, the year, the artist. Um, here you see your title, and it has no title. Obviously, it does have the length. You can see the uh, the artist uh, is not known and whatnot uh, as I was saying. That is really not important in this case. What you want to do though is go up to this top bar. And you can see you can create a playlist. You can rip your CD and here are your rip settings. Now the reason I bring up the rip settings is by default when you use Windows Media Player to rip a CD. Um, let's go into the settings here. You go to format. You will see and I have already changed this. But you will see the default settings that it, that it will rip will will always be Windows uh, Media Audio, and this is not a bad format. I will say, um, it's it's a good format if you if you only want to listen to this um, in this case music, in um, you know on your computer, you know, because if, especially if you have Windows Media Player as your default player, if you have iTunes, you you're gonna you're just gonna import it in there. But uh, let's say you want to use this, uh, you want to set it as an MP3. Um, this, this will not work really. So there, there's an MP3 option. So what you want to do is click MP3, and MP3 is a universal language, um, a universal kind of format. So I do recommend .mp3 for everything. So we'll have to hit .mp3 right there, and you will see that it that it changed. We can we can go back into this and do the do the uh, do the format. You can see that there's a check mark. Next thing you want to check, um, you can do the audio quality as well. I actually recommend doing a doing 192 kilobits per second here. Um, it is really, it's really no, really no difference. I mean, there, there is a difference, but in this case, it doesn't matter. I'm not looking at the, at the quality of the fine-tooth comb. Uh, I mean, if you're listening to 
it on an MP3 player, an iPod, what not. You may want to go on 320. Well, in this case, I'll go to 192. That seems like a good compromise in this case. So go ahead and hit that. And the next thing you want to do, you can, uh, if you have multiple tracks, obviously you can you can um, check mark them like this. You can pick one or the other. In this case, I want to do two. The two tracks are not here. Go ahead and hit rip the CD. And you will say it will say pending um, and, and ripping as well. So you give it. Uh, it in this, in this case, it shouldn't take too long. Uh, I'd say, depending, it's going to be a 16 track CD, maybe have a good 15 minutes or so. Not too long, no, um, to get everything. Um, this we'll see here. It says rip the library. So there's one track done. And the second track is on its way, so we're, we're going to wait. Okay, and you can see that it says ripping, ripping complete, update update complete and you can see the information is shown right here as you saw it just flashed and it says ripped to library so what you want to do is go into your um, file explorer on, on Windows here in this case I already, have, I already have a USB flash drive open so I'm going to navigate to my to my music folder that's a, that's a, that is the default location to where this, this will be stored most time you can see here is your unknown artist folder the, the unknown artist is being um, this the CD that I that I imported and I'm talking about in this first project. Go ahead and click this. Go ahead and click it again. Sometimes it will create two folders, and there are your two tracks in your folder, and you can move them, use them any way you want. They are they are MP3 um, sound file format files as well. So it's very very simple to do um, once you get the hang of it. If you do have a large project though, maybe maybe. Um, you know, maybe maybe it's maybe it would be easier to use iTunes, and uh, that that is a completely different animal. I may do a video on that one day. It's, iTunes a little bit more kind of complex, but uh, they both work very very well. I do recommend this option as well, especially if you're using this, um, like like I am these these files on any project you're working on, such as such as a Windows Movie Maker project or whatnot. It's very simple to use. I highly recommend using doing this way, as I said, for shorter projects. Um, that's it for this video tutorial, guys. I hope it helped you out a little bit. Uh, a little, little bit confusing to explain. I tried my best. So if you, if you have any questions, please let me know um, and whatnot. Um, any, any problems, please let me know. Um, that's it for this video tutorial. If you enjoyed this video tutorial, please give it a like and uh, subscribe to my channel. I try to put up video tutorials whenever I have some inspiration. I try to do also album review corner that should be popping back up here in the near future, hopefully. Um, with, with some full albums, I'm, I'm hoping in the future. Uh, I also uh, do have concert videos of Motley Crue, so if you're interested in any of those, um, yeah, please uh, please subscribe. I also do um, just general discussion videos, review videos as well, and I also do sports talk video and tech talk as well as I'm doing here. So thank you guys for watching this um, video tutorial on how to rip CDs using Windows Movie or Media Player rather. Hope it helps you out. Have a nice day. Bye. -bye.